Hello Hard Video Order Stuff, welcome back. Today for you guys, I'm gonna tell you about the growth of this channel and hopefully I'll let you into a few secrets of how I went from 2,000 to 20,000 subscribers in one year. Now I know this isn't the extraordinary growth that some channels have seen like Kai Wong's or Peter McKinnon's, but I still think a tenfold increase is not to be sniffed at. At the beginning of 2017, I decided to step up my game, and so I came up with four things that I wanted to address to improve the quality of this channel. The first one is the most obvious, but also the most important, and that was to address the quality of the content on the channel. All the way through the process of making each video, I would ask myself one simple question, and that was, would I watch this? So now when I think up ideas for videos, when I write the content, when I shoot the video, when I edit it, always I'm asking myself, would I watch this? And if the answer's ever no, I have to go back, I have to work out the kinks, reshoot footage, and sometimes even scrap ideas if they don't pan out to be something interesting. You just gotta be ruthless. That's all there is to it. The second thing I wanted to address was my delivery. I really wanted the way that I talk to you guys through these videos to be more professional, have better rhythm and be more interesting and engaging. So I addressed this by the way that I write my content for these videos. I went from using bullet points and then having to expand on each point in an ablib style during the video to writing down exactly what I wanted to say in the style that I would say it. And I think it's made a huge difference. So let's compare a clip from over a year ago to a more recent one so we can compare and see what the differences are. Hello, Harv Video Audio Stuff, welcome. Today we're gonna to have a look at this, which is the Helios 58mm f2. What a weird lens this is. If you don't got it, you probably, probably should get it. Hello, Harv Video Audio Stuff, welcome back. Is this new Aperture C300D right for you? Stay tuned and hopefully by the end of the video I will have helped you figure that one out. The third change I wanted to make was to strive for a regular steady upload. My, my goal was actually just one video per week, which doesn't sound too difficult, but when you work a full-time job as well as running a channel like this, it is difficult to maintain that kind of quality of content every single week. It would be so easy to slip into that horrible mindset of, oh, that'll do, I just need to finish it and upload so I've got an upload this week. That's really not what I wanted to do. I didn't want to sacrifice quality just to have an upload, even though my best intention is to try and have a regular upload every week. So if I ever miss a week, you know why. The fourth thing that I wanted to address was the strength of my branding for this channel. Now look, I know that Harv Video Audio Stuff isn't the most punchy YouTube channel name out there, or at all but at least it's unique. And that's why I really wanted to focus on the strength of that brand. So I got myself a proper logo and then I brought all of my social media sites in line by logoing them up. I also created a new opening sequence and ending sequence for these videos. And I did things like I made sure I had my watermark down in the corner. Um, so I just brought everything in line and hopefully it's worked to make this a stronger brand. The last thing I just wanted to touch on is YouTube networks and these companies that promise you tens of thousands of views for money. You'll find that as your channel grows, you will be approached by these kind of companies. YouTube networks, if you're not familiar with the term, they're companies that will promise to put you in front of a larger audience and they'll also offer you things like royalty-free media to help you. However, they do want a cut of your ad revenue. That's, that's how they operate. I don't want to just outright advise that you don't join a YouTube network. I'm sure there are some really sort of bigger, well-known ones which do offer a valuable service. I'm just saying that when a channel is in its infancy, you will be approached by these other smaller YouTube networks that just, to me, seem a bit dodgy. And I am a firm believer that if your content is good and you're doing the right th thing, your channel will grow naturally. So my advice, be careful. As for these companies that offer you thousands of views for cash, obviously, I mean, don't touch them with a the barge pole is my advice. The views are bot generated and therefore worthless. So look, if you, if you feel like you need to buy views to get ahead, then I would say something is wrong with your channel or your content, something like that, and just, just don't do it. So personally, I think these are bad options, for me anyway. I just wanted you to have your eyes open, because as your channel grows, you will be approached, uh, and my advice is just keep your guard up. And lastly, I just wanted to say thank you for being a subscriber. It really means a lot to me. 
Uh, and so yeah, that's it for now. And I really hope you found this interesting and helpful. And yeah, I'll catch you next time. See you guys. Yeah.